up, y'all? I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out. Before I get going, hit my like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video, turn on your notifications, and don't forget that we go live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night. And you can also catch me live with the Sangin' OG KQKC Boxing Network Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. Central Time. And please join the channel for access to exclusive content. Um, and, and become a member to the channel and drop super chats and super thanks when you come by the live streams to help support the channel and help the channel grow. The more time, the more uh, support that we have to the channel, the more time I get to spend dropping content for y'all. And the TKO Debate Series is back. We got two debates coming your way tomorrow and Thursday night, so y'all be sure to tune in. It's going to be fireworks. I'm stepping back in the ring to kill something. Remind everybody who the king of this shit is. But let's get it popping, man. Uh, Terrence Bud Crawford. His, his his arrogance, bro, and his intensity right now, bro, are things that I'm 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 concerned about, bro. There are things that I'm concerned about, bro. Like I'm not gonna hold you. I'm not gonna sit up here and sugarcoat shit for you, bro. And when I say concern, like I find myself like, bro, is he gonna put up a good fight? Real shit. Like, if he gonna put up a good fight, cause I will I will like yo, bud a dog. You know what I'm saying? He 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 a savage out there. I think Earl gonna step on him and stop him between round nine and round eleven. But what I'm getting from him, the vibe I'm getting from him now, bro, is like, bro, I think Earl might stop your ass between round seven and round nine, dog. Like I, th I think you're going to break down before. And here, here, here's why I'm saying what I'm saying, bro. And I know the Bud Crawford fans and shit, y'all going, y'all hate this shit. But I'm just, this just my opinion, bro. You, If you don't like the shit, you can make your own content and shit. You can give your opinion. This is my opinion. What I'm noticing from Bud Crawford, I just watched the All Access shit, the little uh, press run recap shit. Bud about to throw hands with Derrick James, bro. His, him and his whole team seem off, bro. That's why I'm making the video. He about to throw hands with Derrick James. He said, what's up? First of all, bro, niggas know what a nice what up is, bro. Like, Bud think people stupid, and Derrick James wasn't stupid in that situation. But if you see Bud, Derrick James is walking. Bud is standing still. Bud, didn't, Bud wasn't like, hey, what's up, Derrick? Hey, what's up, man? Bud was like, what's up? Like that, you know what I mean? There's a difference between, hey, what's up, and what's up? Like, it's a whole, it's different, bro. And so Derrick James picked up on the, what's up? And Derrick James said, what's up? And kept walking, you know what I'm saying? And then Bud kept following him, hey, what's good, bro? I said, what's good? And then Derrick James like, bro, what the fuck wrong with you, bro? I said, what's up? Keep that shit moving, you know what I mean? And Bud was like, what? Is you stupid? Is you stupid? And then Derrick Jane kept walking. He said, I guess they think I'm soft because I'm in a suit. But Bud, I'm 10 with DJ, bro. You're on 10 with Derrick Jane. I'm like, why wasn't you like that with Earl, bro? You laughing at his jokes and shit. You let that man talk about breaking you for two days straight before you finally said something. He finally was like, he could try to break me, but I'm going to break his face. You should have had that shit on lock from the moment you stepped on the goddamn Man talking about he trying to break you. This man talking about he trying to make you not a Christian no more. You believe in God? When I get done with your ass, you ain't gonna believe in God. You a good family man and a good husband. When I get on, when I get done with your ass, you're gonna be a deadbeat. That's the type of shit Earl is talking to you, bro. I need the intensity to turn up. And I need the realization of who you in there with to turn up. Cause if you go in there, like what you talking if you bull Crawford, bro, the fight not gonna be close. This man was ass A. Hey, what does Earl bring to the table that none that any is there anything different that you need to prepare for? He said, Nope, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Nigga, if you prepare for Earl the way you prepare for Avenesian, if you prepare for Earl the way that you prepared for Kel Brook or Jose Benavidez or Amir Khan or Sean Porter or any of the fighters that you fought at what to way your ass getting stepped on, bro, and I want to see a good fight. So I ain't like that shit. He asked him what that he was asked what he brings to the table that no other fighters bring to the table. He said, I done seen it all. He don't bring nothing to the table. I done seen it. I done fought big fighters, small fighters, medium fighters, fighters with a good jab, fighters that are pressure fighters, 
Fighters that throw a lot of punches per round, I'm listening to them like, dog, you clearly have no clue. And that's, bro, and then, but when you hear Earl, he, he be like, yeah, I know what I'm in there with. I know what he is. You know what I'm saying? He's great. He does this. He does that. So we preparing. I'm coming. I got to stay focused. It's going to be a war. He mentally letting you know that he ready for everything while Bud is just over here talking about acting like Earl ain't shit. And, hey, man, you, hey, be arrogant, bro, and then go show us that it really is that. But, bro, if there's some miscalculation, which I believe they all the way off the charts with the miscalculations, bro. If he miscalculating this shit and he training for Earl like everybody else and he think fighting Earl is similar to fighting Kell Brook or, or Sean Porter and Earl don't bring shit to the table that, that he ain't, you know, and don't bring nothing new that he ain't seen before. If that's his mindset going into that bitch, he gonna have a rude awakening come fight night and at that point, it's gonna be too late. He need to have an intensity on that it's already some different shit. That it's already a fight for your life in this motherfucker. Then it's already a different attitude, a different mentality that you need to get into this mode with and you need to go into this fight with, bro. You can't go in this bitch. I'm not liking what I'm hearing. Y'all might think it's nothing, but I've been watching this sport of boxing a long time. This shit got a lot with mental. And mentally, with what they saying and what they giving to the public, I'm getting the indication that Earl is much more aware of the opponent that he's up against while Bud is much more aloof, much more arrogant, much more like, hey, Earl, like shit, you know, I'm going to do what I do. And then just the different ways that they talking about winning, bro. Bo, what's your prediction? What you think going to happen? I just know I'm going to be victorious. Victory. I'm going to win. Earl, what you trying to do? Hey, what you going to do, man? I'm trying to break him. I'm trying to break him physically. I'm trying to break him mentally. I'm trying, I'm trying to break him spiritually. I'm trying to break him down. I know he ain't going to want to break, but I'm trying to break him down. I'm like, damn, bro. Like, I prefer that shit. You got to be coming to kill something. So, I, I mean, we'll see, bro. But that's one thing where I'm like, damn, dog, I wish you would turn up the intensity and you got to let go of some of that arrogance, bro. Arrogance is a bad thing to have in this situation. You need to have a healthy amount of respect. And dare I say, just a little bit of fear in a fight like this to get you over that hump, to give you that edge, to make you train harder, to do some shit that you ain't never done before. It is going to take an all-time great performance for whoever wins this fight. If Ray Leonard wasn't at his absolute fucking best, he wasn't beating Tommy Hearns. If Marvin Hagler, even Marvin Hagler, yeah, it was a three-round knockout. Yeah, yeah, he got Tommy out of there. But if Marvin Hagler wasn't in his absolute best, Tommy Hearns could have stopped him, bro. Tommy Hearns cracked his ass so motherfucking hard, but what did Hagler do? He recognized what Tommy Hearns was. He recognized who Tommy Hearns was as a fighter, and he trained his ass out. Y'all be quiet. Hey. Hey, be quiet. He trained his ass out for that fight. And so he was in such phenomenal shape. And obviously, we know Marvin Hagler got a great chin, but he took it so serious. He had the right mindset. I'm walking through hell, bro. You're going to have to kill me, bro. To where he took that punch and he just kept fucking coming. And once he took Tommy Hearn's best punch, we all knew what happened from that point. Hey, you got to get out of here. Stop. You're going to have to get out of here. You can't be quiet. Sit down. And so that's what I need to see a little bit more from Bud. Now, let's talk about Bo Mack, bro. Let's talk about Bo Matt. Bo Matt one and one, bro. I ain't gonna hold y'all, man. I alluded to this in a couple of videos, but now that he done did the whole, cause he been doing interviews and shit as well. Bo Matt, Bo Matt seemed like he feeling, he feeling the pressure of the moment. And he ain't keeping that same, that same, that arrogance and shit. Talking all that shit, bro. Where's that shit at? It like, he say his shit talking for when Derrick James and Earl Spence ain't in their face no more, bro. He say he say that shit talking for when they ain't in his face no more. When they in his face, Derrick James is a great trainer. He love what Derrick James did with his fighter. Derrick James gonna have him ready to go. Earl is a great fighter. Earl is very good. Earl gonna be a tough fight. Earl gonna bring it. Then the moment he leave off that podium, it's easy. Bug gonna make it look easy. He gonna stop him. It's this, it's that. Bro, why didn't you say that shit when they could talk back to you? 
I just, the energy just seemed off, bro. Bud seemed extremely arrogant. He seemed extremely conf, uh, aloof. And he seemed to really not know what's in front of him. And he's taking Earl as if Earl is just everybody else that he fought. And maybe, and, and again, for the Bud fanatics, maybe he doing that shit because come July 29th, he going to show that Earl is just another dude. But I think he's sadly fucking mistaken taking that attitude, bro. So I would like for the intensity to, to ramp up. I would like for him to to understand what's in front of him. And I hope he's not training like he's talking. I hope he's not training like Earl brings nothing to the table that he hasn't seen before. I hope he's not training like that. Because if he is, bro, he is going to get in there and he gonna realize, oh, he is different. And at that point, the fight over with. The fight over with. If you if you ain't realizing that shit right now, if you ain't training like that shit, it's too late, come fight night. It's too late, come fight night. I'm telling y'all right now, bro. So y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Terrence Bud Crawford, his arrogance and his inability to realize what's in front of him in Earl Spence Jr. is going to end up getting his ass whooped. And Bo Mac, please, bro. Keep the same goddamn energy. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Comment below, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video, turn on your notifications, and don't forget that we live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Appreciate y'all watching. Enjoy the rest of your night. And with that, we out of here. Peace out, y'all.